In this video, we're going to go through the entire history of the Black Series helmet line from its inception in 2015 up to today in 2020. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt. If you're new here, welcome to Nerdzoic. This channel is all about action figure, action figure collecting with a pixie dust of nerdness just thrown in whenever I feel like it. If that's up your alley, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I put up a new video every Tuesday and Thursday. If you're not new here, you're probably noticing new setup. Oh, this is the beginning of a new setup. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know how the sound sounds because this room's kind of echoey. So I'm experimenting with different microphones and different acoustic techniques to figure out how the hell to make this sound good. But I'll be changing this up as we go. I got a big old picture coming for this wall, waiting on it still. And I'm still trying to figure out how I want the lighting. So bear with me. Nerdzoic, under construction. Today we're going back to 2015 when the first Star Wars The Black Series helmet was released. The piece of junk I'm wearing here is actually part of the Hasbro Revenge of the Sith line that they rolled out. I picked it up at a Target for like 20 bucks on clearance 15 years ago. You get what you pay for. In modern times here in 2020 though, that's not the case. As I said, this line started in 2015 and truth be told, I don't have a single one of them. Why am I making this video? Because I was at Walmart about two weeks ago and I came across the newest release, the Boba Fett helmet, and I said, I'll get it next time. Next time's never happening. He's gone. And I can't find him anywhere. I've seen a couple of these come out through the years. How long has this been around? What does the pricing look like on some of the older ones? So I decided in the end to just make a big video detailing the entire collection in case anybody else, like me, is wondering what the heck has come out and how is it? I have been lucky enough to see some of these helmets in the flesh, out of the box. And honestly, they look amazing. They look nothing like the junk that came before it. The Ruby's Collectibles ones from back in the day, they were pretty good, but these just look freaking amazing. As good as they look, they have been criticized heavily for their voice changing capabilities. In fairness, it has improved over the years. The way I structured this is I'm gonna start year by year and we'll talk about it, have some fun, Wang Chung tonight, whatever. I'm also gonna share what the various helmets are going for right now on eBay in case you wanna hop on over and pick yourself up one because I sell it so well. Go me! As always, credit for all the values and the average eBay prices goes to Action Figure 411. I've talked about these guys before. It's a fantastic site. Bookmark it, head there, get values for your Marvel Legends, your Black Series, and your Transformers, as well as a really complete visual guide. Are you ready? Let's start in 2015. <laughs> This line started with a bang in 2015 with the release of The Force Awakens. The first helmet we got, naturally, Kylo Ren. So this one was a voice-changing helmet. It came in three pieces. The battery, stupidly, went on top so you could actually see the panel. It looked a little goofy. A lot of complaints from people on that. The biggest complaint, though, was the fact that the voice changer sounded like crap. It was kind of like the 1980s drive through speakers. Cargo, it's not pay fries. Now, when this helmet came out, it came out at the $80 price point. I remember seeing it at like Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, and I never bought it. What's it going for now, you ask? $373.65. If you want to go back and add this to your collection, it's not going to be cheap. Hopefully you can find somebody who's selling this cheaper than what they're being sold for recently on eBay, because that is way too much money for this helmet that can't even change voice. One thing should be said though, it does look great despite the little battery thing up here and the crappy voice changer. It's a great helmet. And that was it for 2015. We only got the one. All right, it's 2016. I'm just kidding, we're not really back in time. I'm just gonna go back, so don't worry. We're not back in time. You're still where you were, everything's okay. In 2016, we got two helmets released and they were both different types of troopers. Both came out, again, at the $79.99 price point and both, again, are selling for crazy amounts on the secondary market. The first helmet we got was a Shadow Trooper from the Battlefront video game. Luckily, this one, the batteries were removed from the top to the back it looks really, really, really awesome. I remember seeing it discounted down to, I don't know, 60 bucks. What's going for now, you ask? Just $315, friends. One thing to note is that we did see a bit of an improvement on the voice speaker, but it's not a mark improvement. You can at least understand what people are saying, but only if you have your mouth directly on the mouthpiece inside the helmet. So basically, you're inside the helmet with your lips around the mouthpiece. That's not awkward. The other helmet we got in 2016 was the iconic Stormtrooper helmet. And again, 
this thing looks freaking amazing. As far as sounds and voice changers go, no upgrades over the Shadow Trooper helmet. But again, if you're just getting this to display, it looks awesome. If you plan on using it for anything else, you're screwed. I should mention that there's a lot of videos on YouTube that show you how to modify the voice changer so that it actually works. Just go ahead and type it in the YouTube search bar and you're gonna have some luck finding a way to make that usable. If you don't care, then don't bother. Jump ahead to 2017, we only got one helmet this year, and it was from one of the crappiest characters ever in the Star Wars universe. Of course, I'm talking about Poe Dameron. As much as I don't care for the character, this helmet is amazing. The great thing about this helmet is, first off, the inside is made with this removable fabric padding thing so that it can adjust to fit your head and then it's actually comfortable. The helmet itself has a retractable visor and inside the helmet there are internal speakers, three of them actually, one on each side, one in the back. Why is that important, you ask? Because the sounds it makes, not a voice changer, are played across the speakers in a way that it sounds like they're coming either from behind you or from the sides. So whenever BB-8 talks, you hear him directly behind you because if you're flying an X-Wing, BB-8 is behind you. There's also sounds of other X-Wings and TIE Fighters going side to side, and the sound actually moves as it goes by, so it sounds like there's, it's going by you. Again, freaking awesome. Oh, and uh, BB-8, he's voice activated, so if you ever need him, just say something like, Hey, BB-8, kind of like the space version of Alexa. Makes me kind of mad because when Toys R Us was closing, they had like 300 of these marked down to 20 bucks. I really wish I bought a couple. Let's move to 2018. In 2018, we got two releases and with them came a pretty big increase in price. They went from the $79.99 price point up to $99.99. The first helmet we got was definitely worth the price increase. It was a Darth Vader helmet. Not a crappy one. This helmet's amazing, and I'm not gonna lie, right now I have multiple of these being watched on my eBay listings because I might need to buy one. What I really like about this helmet is the inside and the outside are both designed to look realistic. So when you start taking the helmet off, which comes off in three pieces, and we're on in three pieces, it's got magnetic seals to hold it on and in place. And as you start taking it off, the parts that aren't visible when the whole mask is on, are made to look just like in the movie. So if you want to kind of do the whole meditation chamber thing, or if you want to be like at the end of Jedi where he's like, Luke, take this mask off. You can do it. Not really a surprise, but of course it comes with the iconic Darth Vader sounds. <sighs> I don't do a good Darth Vader. Because it's only a few years old, it's not selling for crazy amounts on the secondary market yet. You can still pick it up on eBay for about 120. The other helmet released in 2018 was the Shock Trooper. This was a GameStop exclusive that came out and was very similar in design to the Shadow Trooper from before and the Storm Trooper. The big difference was that the interior of the helmet was better designed and also had a neck guard. Somewhat surprising to me, even though I remember GameStop clearancing these out for half price, the $99 initial price tag now up to over 176 on the secondary market. So if you want this, you're gonna have to pay for it. But at least it's not Kylo Ren levels, right? In 2019, we got two more helmets released and both stuck to the $99.99 price tag upon release. The first one we got was Luke Skywalker's X-Wing helmet, which was very similar in many ways to Poe Dameron's helmet, except Luke Skywalker is awesome and Poe Dameron isn't. I don't completely hate all the new movies. It's just in comparison. I mean, I even like the prequels more than the new movies. Maybe they'll grow on me in time. Or not. As far as these helmets go, this is the one I want second most. Luckily, it's only selling for a couple of dollars over what it originally went for. Why do I like this helmet? It's an upgraded version of the Poe helmet. So it's got all the same cool features as far as the three speakers and the sounds of things flying past you. But the sounds you're going to hear are from Hoth. So you're going to hear snow speeders flying past. You're going to hear the guy in Echo Base about the AT-ATs getting close and the first transport is away. The first transport is away. The other really cool thing about Luke's helmet is that inside there's actually these flashing LED lights that are made to stimulate blaster fire so it makes you feel like you're in the battle. Awesome. Oh yeah. The other helmet we got in 2019 was the Incinerator Trooper. So this was the flamethrower trooper from the Mandalorian. So the big difference with this guy is he's got heat resistant armor, but I, I don't know that that's part of the replica. Don't try to wear this in a fire, that's a bad idea. This is again a three piece helmet and shows again, a pretty nice improvement in the voice changer technology. So over time, we're slowly improving. This guy's selling just over what he retailed for, went originally for $100, right now he's going for a little bit more than 110. And that brings us to 2020. 2020 is going great so far, isn't it? We got two releases, both are Boba Fett. 
2020 is the year of the Boba Fett. The main Boba Fett release, the one that inspired this video, actually saw a pretty big price bump. It moved up to $119.99 to make up for the new things that it can do. So first of all, let's point out that the helmet looks awesome. This one has a flip down viewfinder with flashing LED lights that turn on once it drops. The interior screen of the rangefinder lights up as well. The interior is all detailed and awesome looking, and the rangefinder has a removable cover. The illuminated heads-up display is also freaking awesome. People are starting to freak out because they can't find Boba Fett in stores. He's going for about 160 on the secondary market. But I wait, see if you can find it in a store or at a convention. Don't pay that crazy price. You should still be able to get him at retail here soon. The second helmet we got this year that is also Boba Fett is the prototype Boba Fett. So this is a Walgreens exclusive, so I will never see it in stores because Walgreens does not exist in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania for some reason. And it's part of the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back collection. So this white Boba Fett's actually a concept Boba Fett. So originally when Ralph McQuarrie designed him, he was like this super stormtrooper. The helmet itself is pretty much exactly the same as Boba Fett's, except it doesn't have any damage dents or anything like that. It also has all the same cool features that I talked about with Boba Fett, including the heads-up display, the drop-down rangefinder, all the flashing lighty goodness. I do wonder, though, if this is going to sell really well as people try to use it to repaint it into a Mandalorian helmet, even though we know we're going to get a Mandalorian helmet soon, since they have the mold for it now. But yeah, people are probably going to try to turn this into a Mandalorian helmet. By people, I mean me. And that's it. That's all the helmets we've had released so far. So to review, in 2015, we got the Kylo Ren helmet. In 2016, we got the Shadow Stormtrooper and the Stormtrooper. In 2017, we got Poe Dameron. In 2018, we got Darth Vader and the Shock Trooper. In 2019, we got Luke Skywalker and the Incinerator Trooper. And in 2020, we got both Boba Fett's. Who are we missing? Well, I feel like there's a lot of Mandalorians that can still be made, obviously. We can get Jango Fett, we can get Sabine from Rebels, we can get the Mandalorian, we can get the Mandalorian in his cool upgraded Beskar armor. I'd also be down for a Royal Guard or even one of those Praetorian Guards, but I'm not buying them. Guard, but I might buy a Royal Guard. Those guys are pretty awesome. I gotta say, I really like this Black Series helmet line. It's not something that I started collecting yet, but it's probably something I'm gonna start collecting now because that's just what I need more things to collect. How many of you guys are collecting this line? What helmets do you have? What helmets do you want to get? If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash subscribe up here, and I'm gonna link to a series of other Black Series videos that I made that I think you're gonna love up here. Until next time, stay nerdy.